You'll never run out of content if you use this strategy, answer specific questions. So if you're answering specific questions that people are actually asking online, you'll never run out of content. I use Google, I use Answer the Public, and I use the TikTok app itself to come up with short form video content ideas. I'll show you how I do it. Let's step to my computer. So the first website I use is Google and within Google I'll make a search like um, for Cricket Machine and when you when you look when that search comes through you'll see the until you come here where it says people also ask and that shows you the exact questions that people are asking when they are searching on Google so for example what exactly can a Cricket Machine do and when you look in there, you'll find a video or a blog that talks about uh, exactly what a cricket machine does. So sometimes I'll just uh, watch the video or read through the blog and summarize that into a one minute uh, TikTok video where I talk about what exactly can a cricket machine do. To, I'll show you some examples of videos I've created. Um, so you see here, when you keep going through the questions that people are asking, you see you get more and more questions. Does cricket print or cut? What kind of wood can you use in a cricket maker? So you start to see what kind of questions people are asking. Does a cricket make stickers? I did a video on that. I'll show you what that looks like. So. To print stickers, you need a Cricut machine that will allow you to do print and cut. So that can only be done on the Cricut Explore Air 2 and the newer Cricut machines. That's the Maker uh, 3 and the Cricut Explore Air 3. You can't print and cut on the Cricut Joy machine. Um, so I hope that helps. Thanks for the question. The other one... Um... I like to use is this one, Answer the Public. So Answer the Public has a wealth of information where they've looked at all the questions that people are asking online. And then um, when you come in here, you can make a search for, you can see I'm always searching, uh, maybe just do cricket and you can search what are people asking around cricket. And then it will uh, answer the public will do its thing. This is a really handy tool to have because it shows you all the questions and it shows them in a sort of a circle. So it's not boring at all. So you can start to look at, okay, people are asking all these different questions. It groups them in who, why, uh, why, why won't my cricket connect, where, you know, Cricket, where is weld? So if you wanted to do a short video just to show where's the weld function within Cricut Design Space, you can see these in darker are the more commonly asked questions. So you can start with those. Cricut when to mirror. Then you can do a video that shows when do you mirror when you're using HTV. So these are all questions that you can answer using short form videos and I like it because it's a free tool you can just download or save this image and then you can go to it as you think of what content uh, to put on your TikTok or on your YouTube shorts so yeah it's a really handy tool and last but not least I just use TikTok and I'll show you how I do that so within TikTok you can go to the search and you can filter by like counts and I also like to filter by videos that have been liked the most in the last three months because that will give me a good idea of what videos people are actually watching and you can also see TikTok will tell you what other people searched for so you can use those same keywords to create your videos. Hope that helps. And now for the bonus tip. So my bonus tip is to make your videos or your content go further, 
you need to use one video three times. So that's the three by one uh, strategy, they call it. Uh, so basically what that means, and I'll show you just now when you step to my TikTok, you can see that you take one video, record one video, but show it three different times. So the first time could be a 30 to 45 second or even longer video where you're actually talking uh, or you're doing a voiceover showing the process. Before you go and buy a new Cricut mat, listen to this. If your mat looks anything like mine, you need to use good old dishwashing soap, a generous amount. Use your scraping tool in the corners where there's a lot to be cleaned. Otherwise, using circular motions with a baby wipe will do. Then rinse it out, air dry. It was a nice day, so I air dried. But you can also use... Um, a hair dryer to dry it out and there you go it should be sticky again place the clear film back on and you should be good to go and use that mat again for all your cricket projects just a friendly tip especially if you're a beginner you need to know this so you can save some money and the second form of video could be 12 to 15 seconds long where you're probably showing the process of you making, say, a tumbler just in quick, snappy bits, so for about 12 or 15 seconds. Hello? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Wish I had a rabbit and a hat. And the other video could be an eight second video with a trending sound on it where you've got some useful text on the screen. So then you use one video three times. 